This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by... Forkfest.com Thinking is wrong! He wasn't much good with a camera, at first. Look at all that panning, I'm getting space sick. But if you stop and look at some of George Donnelly's early video, you're struck more by where he is and what's happening than you are by the camera work. This is a really pretty substantial rally somewhere in the mid-Atlantic in opposition to eminent domain. And it appears to be taking place in front of the houses of bureaucrats or politicians. Presumably the ones who like house stealing. Thugs out! Look at this happy, smiling crowd. 40 degree day. Donnelly's lensmanship had improved substantially by the time he began stepping into the real danger. What's that? I didn't get the picture, but I don't think you can record all day. I can't record? Why not? It's public space, right? In these tense encounters with authorities outside federal buildings around the Mid-Atlantic, the novice American videographer stood up for the rights of videographers everywhere to film near federal buildings. And perhaps there's some stuff we can learn from what he's been through in the process of trying to do it. It is actually. Jeez. So what are you guys doing out here today? These are the nice Federals. The ones who didn't steal his camera, didn't tackle him. In early May, he was assaulted and placed under house arrest as he tried to videotape the harassment of a FIJA activist. Like every government crackdown, this one gives us clues, teaches us something about how we can be more effective activists. These kinds of lessons sometimes can only be learned by making mistakes. And thank God for people like George Donnelly who are willing to go out there and make them. Lesson number one, try to have one videographer who hangs back from what's going on. He shoots from a distance, he's not on any federal or government property. Other activists don't go anywhere that he can't see them. Lesson number two, wait until after you've moved to New Hampshire to be a hero. Donnelly was only a week away from his move here when this happened. Now he's stuck in the slave states, Pennsylvania to be exact. Even if he were able to move here, he'd be having to go back there for court. Lesson number three, have more than just three or four people. If that's all you've got, play it conservative. There's a time and a place to break the rules and get in trouble. That time and place is when you have lots of witnesses and lots of cameras. Lesson number four, maybe this is just my opinion, but there is a way you can answer these kind of bullying questions that doesn't make you feel like you've been violated and probably it won't anger the authorities as much either. Just ask if you're required to answer. But don't provide any answers. Except maybe a couple of things you've already decided you want to tell them. Obviously, that's not the only approach. It's just one that I felt, uh, I don't know, I felt when I was watching these videos that I really wanted to hear somebody say that or I really wanted to do it if I'd been there. I just felt violated when I heard all these different things these activists were saying that were providing answers uh, to the authorities. What is some special organization or anything else like that? I know it says the American Jury Institute. Is there like American Jury Foundation or something like that? I'm just an observer. Yeah, there's something to be said for being open and approachable. I don't know, for me, I like to think either you was, what was it Churchill said, prudence and audacity may be alternated, but never mixed. You want to either be very friendly with them, or give them basically no information at all. Just a thought. And all these things that probably will be taken as criticisms of George, well, I could say many of these same things about myself, and I'm only bringing these issues up because they give me an excuse to talk about how badly George has been treated, and how heroic I consider him. 
with information so scarce, I'm having to make a video about pretty much everything that's in my mind on this subject. I hope it will give him aid and comfort to know that a few hundred more people will uh, now be exposed to the lessons that he is teaching us. Do you enjoy the New Hampshire Liberty Forum? Would you like another crack at New Hampshire during a prettier time of year? Porcupine Fest happens every summer. It's your chance to experience America's freest state and its most effective liberty movement. Don't miss the fun. Sign up now. Porkfest.com